Just think about that. That's 40% of the wealth generated in America. That is ridiculous. Who here thinks that's fair? Raise your hand if you think that's fair. You're right, it's not fair. I should take my hand down. That is ridiculous. That is, that is disgusting. That is evil. That is evil. God didn't put you on earth to work for someone else. Not coming at anyone that works for someone else. I work for someone else right now. Like I said, if it's all you can do, it's all you can do. If you have to work for someone else, go ahead. I thought I was going to work for someone else too. But when you think back to when you were a kid and you had dreams, you had dreams about doing something. Who here had dreams when they're, who here has dreams? Raise your hand. No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't have dreams. You had dreams when you were a kid. Now, we've been faced with reality, smack in the face, that I don't have to go to college, graduate, maybe get a job, maybe make like $8,000 a year with 50 hours a week. That has become your dream. People are so scared. These terrorists, everything, scared. Leave me my house. At least leave me my house. Let me get a stable job and take all my civil liberties away. At least let me be safe in the privacy of my own house. That's what that's what we've been conditioned to think. Your dreams have been conditioned. Your dreams have been limited. Your dreams have a cap on them. Go back to when you were a kid. I know a kid who said he wanted to be a dinosaur. That's the type of dreams I'm talking about. That's funny. But he wants to be a dinosaur. That's the type of dreams I'm talking about. When I was a kid, I didn't envision, you know, ever having to wake up every day at 7 o'clock in the morning and go travel somewhere to work and drink coffee or some shit like that. I don't think we all envision that. I think we saw our parents doing that. And who wanted to be who wanted to do that when they were kids? Exactly. But then I realized when I came to an event and this was all thrown in my face, just like yourselves, there was nothing I was gonna do to avoid that. And this is that performance-driven industry. If you put in enough work, you and your best friends are gonna get rich. If you put in the work. And trust me, I was scared as shit when I first did this. My second day, I ordered my product. I said, Joel, return that shit. I am not with it. I don't want to do it. None of my friends are gonna enroll. My best friend here, right, Alice G, my stars, my star pupil. I told Joel in the face, he's not gonna do it. He's not gonna do it. None of them are gonna do it. That whole group of friends, I thought. And ended up doing it, I said they're not gonna do it. So if you think I wasn't skeptical even when I enrolled and didn't have doubt, you're wrong. But now I'm so sure that we're going to the top. This team is going to the top. The top of the top. The Royal Organization. We are the future of FEMA. Being untouched. New York, the largest city in the world, 10 million people, 11 million people, the capital of the world, the best damn city in America, in the world, in the universe, has been. Mainly untouched. There's a lot of people that haven't heard about this in New York. The opportunity is there for the taking. The money is there for the taking. It's like they're throwing it at you. It's like they're throwing it at you. You just gotta, you just gotta reach a little higher, higher, and higher. And that's the problem. So people reach, reach, and they're like, ah, okay. no, keep reaching, keep reaching, keep reaching. They say 95% of the people that do network marketing for 10 years become wealthy beyond the wildest dreams. 95%. What are you going to do in the next 10 years that's going to get you wealthy beyond your wildest dreams? Raise your hand if you have an idea. Oh, that's what I thought. That's what, I, that's what hit me. So I might as well do this for the next 5, 10 years because this isn't a get rich quick, guys. Sure, you want to make money fast. There's no such thing as get rich slow. But you're building an asset. You're doing something professional that you've never done before. It's like you're almost making an investment. Follow the steps, follow the guidelines, and you will succeed. The people that take this 10 years never fail. Only 5% don't come, become wealthy. That doesn't mean 5% quit. That just means 5% then become wealthy. And who really knows what wealthy is? You know, you can work and get rich. You can work and make like 400 grand a year. You can work and have a salary that's close to a million dollars. Doesn't mean you're wealthy. Unless you're having your money work for you and have a bunch of sources of income then you're not wealthy. Bill Gates is worth $80 billion. Less than 20 of that actually comes from Microsoft. That means 60 billion of his 80 billion doesn't even come from the greatest company in, in America that he's created. He has multiple sources of income. He has money coming in from here, 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 and here. And unless you're having your money work for you, then you're doing it wrong. But it's like you have to have the money to make the money work. So just think about that. Where else are you going to get that money? Like Alex said, where else are you going to get $100,000 to invest? Where else are you going to get that type of income? And this is it. Affiliate network marketing is it. This is it. It's not even a question. It's the opposite of the way the world works. You only get paid to help your friends get paid. And if you're good enough, they'll get paid more than you. Where in a corporation or a building, i got to pray for John Doe on the 90th floor to die, quit, get fired. 
me to take his spot. If you're in a retail job, you know, let me tell you that position is open. You three are auditioning to become the stylist, to become the sales lead. One of you gets it. You start to resent that other person. I'm fuck them. I'm better than him. I'm better than him. One, three people for the same position. I'm better than him. Hell no. Sabotage him. Talk shit about him. Maybe freaking um, put clothes in his freaking jacket so he gets caught for theft. That's evil. And that's created by this, this competition, this capitalist, this vulture capitalism that we've lived in. Ridiculous. 3% of people in the world will 97% of the wealth. You got stores like Walmart with hundreds of thousands of like pounds of lower left food, whatever you want to say the metric, and you got kids in Africa starving. Does anyone see something wrong with that? You got people making billions of dollars, yet you got people starving.